Well, we know that there is a proud Irish tradition here in Western New York, but there is one long forgotten about spot that was carved out to be a new version of the old world. Yeah, it's a place where a dozen families from the Emerald Isle created their own piece of the American dream. This morning on Unknown Stories, we rediscover Little Ireland. Paul Lewis has been visiting Allegheny State Park since he was a boy. But I had been hearing stories um, as I grew up about this Irish settlement and there was once an Irish settlement in the park. But it wasn't only the place that intrigued him, it was also the people. Again, I, the stories were all over the place. Oh yeah, these people came out after the Erie Canal, they had built the canal and they moved down and then, you know, it was, it was all sorts of stuff. So being a history teacher, he decided to sort through the rumors and get to the facts. And we went by pulling out some old maps of the park and seeing what we could put together. And sure enough, there was Irish Brook. The next step was exploring along Irish Brook. We're looking for certain signs. Okay, well, how are we gonna find this place? What's gonna be there? They came across this, foundations of old buildings. This was it. This was the place they once called Little Ireland. And only the start of Lewis's research. He decided to make it a project for his class at Cleve Hill. They ultimately discovered 12 original families once lived there. It was a settlement of several houses and even a school. It all began with Jeremiah McCarty coming here from County Clare, Ireland. It just kept unraveling. He winds up getting a job in New York City on the railroad. And that's what led McCarty to Limestone and the settlement Paul and his class would study a century and a half later. He assigned a family to each of his students and the research brought them to St. Patrick's Church and Cemetery in Limestone. Keith, this was amazing the way it fell together. Teresa Townsell lives in Seattle now, but she's a direct descendant of Little Ireland. It spanned from about the time of the end of the Great Famine in Ireland until the end of World War I. And she says the families that created this little piece of their home country were a proud and hardworking bunch. It has all the iconic stories of the the immigrant coming here and the hardship of the times, the, the kinds of things you see in Grandma Moses' pictures. But then oil was discovered in Little Ireland and its residents found a new livelihood, ultimately following the oil and the money to Oklahoma and Texas. Leaving behind these stones, a long line of stories and an Irish chapter of the unknown stories of Western New York. And by the way, that Cleve Hill project was done back in October of 1998. Lewis and his students won the State Archives Student Research Award for it. They deserved it. Oh.